Hello, welcome to this channel. Today I want to review a certain website by the name Remotask.com. Remotask is among the fastest growing online paper task platforms. It brings users from different parts of the world who want to make an extra coin by doing simple tasks daily. Remotask is an online portal which pays its users for accomplishing simple artificial intelligence tasks assigned to them. It was founded back in the year 2017 and it is affiliated or it is in partnership with this website by the name scale.com. I tend to believe that scale.com is based in United States of America. Now, back to my dashboard. I've managed to earn $3 by doing a project by the name BLSS 320F. Now, let's go to my task log. I started doing these projects under remote tasks back in the month of April this year. Though I'm not yet competent, I managed to earn $5 for the first time, $3, $8, less than a dollar, less than a dollar, and $3 recently. They gave me a percentage accuracy of 30%. I was not that accurate, hence $3.6. The amount paid to a user varies depending on two main factors. That is one, accuracy, and two, difficulty level of the task. I've not been consistent, yet I've not, I'm not yet a competent tasker. That's why I've earned little. But there are those people who are earning more since they are competent and they have done this for the last two or more years. Before we proceed, I would like you to uh, have a look some of the screenshot proofs of other people who have preceded me. Welcome back. I want to show you what I've been doing so that I earned $3.57 with BLSS uh, 320. Now, currently I'm on my user interface. As you can see here, this is a view of a certain geographical region that every user is assigned to. And then the user is required to name or to label each and every object that is seen under that geographical location. As you can see in this case, I'm overhead a certain object that looks clearly to me as a tree. So on my right hand side, there are segmentation tools and then there are colors that are, that are supposed to be corresponding with the, uh, uh, the object that is supposed to be labeled. In this case, you can see if this is a tree, I'm supposed to come here and click a tree. So in this case, by the help of the mouse, I'm able to, to look at that object under 3D. So in this case, what I'll just do is I'll select the object using a lasso tool and then I'll select it. After selecting and I'll press enter, the object is labeled as a tree. As you can see here the, on the mouse, the vegetation tree. So I'll have to be accurate so that I label each and every matrix dots that you can see here to be a tree so i have to be keen so that i should not leave anything now from the look of view you can see now at least i have labeled the object as a tree so this is all about tasking or artificial intelligence 
this green part that I can move along, this is an autonomous car, also called SDC. Before we proceed, I want you to watch a short video and then we'll proceed from there. If you look in on top of this car, you can see a camera object. The camera object is called light detecting and ranging. It is by the help of this tool that this car is able to detect and able to know which object is surrounding it or which object is around its environment. Could it be a tree? Could it be a signpost? Could it be a, a post? Could it be a pedestrian walking uh, in front of the car and so forth and so forth. Now, this car that you are just uh, watching is the same as this green part you are seeing here. So this uh, green car can move and so I'm using my plus buttons to be able to know where this vehicle was going as it was capturing the objects around it. You as a tasker, you are able to label these objects so that you can help this SDC, self-driving car, to be able to know which type of object is it. Is it a tree? Is it a drivable region? For instance, in this case, if I deduce the maximum height, I can draw a drivable region. If you look at it keenly, you'll be able, you'll be able to realize that the tarmac road reaches to that point, and that is a drivable region. The same case to the other side up to this point. Well, I'm reaching to that point since because uh, if you use your mouse to look at it keenly, you'll be able to realize that there is a trail. So that trail is the SDC. And by the look of instructions given to each and every tasker, that trail is supposed to be labeled as Ego Car. In this case, Ego Car is the same as Autonomous Car under Lemo task policy or under Lemo task instruction given to us as taskers. This vehicle is able to know that it's not supposed to reach on this side of the road. By labeling each and every part accordingly, you'll help the vehicle to identify the objects that surround it. I think now up to there you are able to understand or you are able to relate between this video and Remo task. As you are talking, autonomous car are have already been introduced in United States and the United Kingdom. Taskers are paid via two channels, that is ARTM and two PayPal. So in that case, if you don't have a PayPal account, you'll need to create one, which is free, and link your uh, payment email, your PayPal email under payment identifier so that you can your money can be channeled to your PayPal account. If you're in Kenya, you can link your PayPal and M-Pesa for easier transactions. Your computer must have the following parameters that are displayed on the screen. As compared to mine, one, mine is Core i7. It's under fourth generation and has a speed of 3.4. And it has a RAM of 16. And it is, it is 64 bit operating system the minimum requirements of the minimum the minimum requirements to do that job is 4 gb ram and core i3 uh, processor and a fourth generation computer so make sure your computer is under those categories otherwise probably uh, otherwise it will inconvenience you when you are starting the job Another thing, of course, you need is a browser. All you need to do is download a brave.com browser. I know most of you have a Chrome browser. Chrome browser is popular. However, it has proved to be inconvenient when you are when you're doing this job. So go ahead and download brave.com and it's free to use. Another thing, is you need to have a stable internet. So make sure your internet is at least 5 Mbps. However, there are those friends who are using as an internet speed of 3 Mbps. Another thing that you might need, though it's optional, is ergonomic chair. This prevents your backbone from back ache. 
uh, create a new profile on under new profile you have two categories guest and add so add so in this case create add type your gmail account in this case i'll type g a b c gmail.com choose your theme color and say done after doing so after creating your new profile go ahead and click the link under the description and it will direct you on this page under this page that's when you're going to log in with google and it will direct you to the training so make sure you do your two training however as i said earlier that i'll i will create more videos so that i can help you to go about with remote task and be able to go ahead if you look on my right hand side we have remote task boot camps so they're asking do you want to increase your pay sign up for online remote task boot camps our certified trainers will teach you how to work on the highest paying tasks online boot camps are free and you'll get paid for live tasks completed during training of course that's what they are saying it's true if you're in kenya they are offering a physical uh, boot camp training that is free at Vika Town. They are situated at Naivas Building, 9th floor. They are also based at Vika Arcade. So make sure if you are around Vika and its environs, make sure you attend uh, the boot camp which is free. And of course what will be needed there is you will have to have a new account as I have shown you. Since the training is free and many people are joining, make sure you have a new account as you have created an account before proceeding there. However, if you are far away from Vika or if you are outside Kenya, there are those people who are offering there are those people who are also employed by this company, remotask.com, that are offering training virtually at the comfort of your home. So all of what you need to do is the uh the account that uh, you need to have an account make sure you have assigned you have signed up your account make sure you have a stable internet and make sure you have downloaded a brave account a brave uh browser as i've shown you as i've shown you everything and then click there are some of the links that are below the description that will help you to join on some of the training that are there so when you join there every day they have new classes as from 7 to 2 and as from 2 to 9 pm so what will be needed is just join the groups that i'll present under the description below make sure you have the account make sure you have a stable internet make sure you have a brave account uh rather browser and when you join them you'll interact with them so if you have any question concerning remote task on how you are going to proceed or if you have any difficulty in joining, you can ask your question under the comments below. If you found this uh, video useful, subscribe and share to your friends so that you can help more youths to reduce the rate of unemployment.